And I think these large language models have put an end to that. Um, not in Chomsky's mind, but in more or less everybody else's mind. Yeah, just to follow up on that and, and, and also just mention about AI for neuroscience as well. well. For what it's worth, Jeff, I've always thought Chomsky was, was completely wrong from my undergraduate days. Just, and... There's something I forgot to mention when I was talking about AI for neuroscience. I think he's made one huge contribution in neuroscience in the last few years, which I think is it's given us a much better understanding of the nature of language in the brain. So there's this crazy guy at MIT called Chomsky, who has been claiming it's all innate. Um, we know now that doesn't have to be the case. And Chomsky's whole view of language is kind of crazy when you look back on it, because language is about conveying meaning. It's about conveying stuff. And Chomsky kind of ignored that aspect of it. It's as if you wanted to understand what a car is, and for all of us, understanding a car would mean um, a large part of it would be understanding how the engine works that makes it go. Um, but you can imagine someone saying, no, no, the thing about cars is to understand why it is you get three wheel cars and four wheel cars, but you never get a five wheel car. And that's what we need to understand about cars. And that seems to me like Chomsky's theory of language. He wanted to understand why certain syntactic constru constructions aren't possible. And as far as I can see, he did everything he could to avoid the basic issue of how does language mean? Um, so, and I think these large language models have put an end to that. Um, not in Chomsky's mind, but in more or less everybody else's mind. Yeah, just to follow up on that and, and, and also just mention about AI for neuroscience as well. Well, for what it's worth, Jeff, I've always thought Chomsky was was completely wrong from my undergraduate days. Just, and I think sent natural language processing down the wrong route for a long time. But maybe that's for another day that discussion. But um, AI for neuroscience, I forgot to add that part. Like I think maybe that's what should happen now is we have all these amazing AI techniques, and I know many people at MIT are doing this. Let's apply it across the board to you know analyzing decoding brain states, all sorts of things, things we used to do 10, 15 years ago, but obviously we have much, much better AI tools now.